After downloading and installing Araneo, make sure you set your network interface in the same IP range as the switches. By default, this is 192.168.x.x with a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 or slash 16. Then connect to any of the ports in the management group on your switch or network. Out of the box, all the ports of a Gigacore switch are set up in the management group. On the switches with multicolor LEDs, this is also indicated by a blue LED. Once you launch Araneo, select the correct network interface that you are using to connect to your network by pressing the network icon on the top right. At this point, Araneo will discover all the switches. If you have not done so before setting up your network, you might want to factory reset all the switches before you start configuring your network. This can be done by selecting the switch, going to System at the bottom, and pressing Reset. It's best to do this from the edge of the network, working your way to the switch where your computer is connected to. When we select individual switches, we can immediately get a lot of info on them on the bottom of our window. We can see the traffic going over all our active ports and see if we are dropping packets. We can also check our power over Ethernet usage per port. If we have AVB streams running on our network, we can see the active AVB streams and on which ports they are. We can check the active multicast registrations on the switch. In case we have MA3 sessions active on our network, these will also be shown here. And last but not least, in the system menu, we can get our switch's system info, stats like temperatures, uptime, and fan speeds. Further on, we can identify a switch. This will cause the front panel LEDs to start blinking, which can be convenient in the larger setup. We can launch the web UI in our default browser. We can reboot our switch and we can reset a switch. We can swap between alternate firmwares as a switch always keeps a backup of their previously installed firmware. We can update the firmware on the individual switch. And lastly, we can locate the switch which will bring it into the center of our window. The same can be done with Luminodes in Araneo. Of course, this requires the Luminodes to be accessible from the Araneo computer. So being in the management group, either completely or via the advanced networking option of the Luminode. Or via a second network adapter in the group in which the Luminodes are connected. In the view menu, indicated by the looking glass, you can store up to 10 different views of our Araneo window. Each on a different zoom level and maybe focused on another part of the network. These views can quickly be recalled by pressing the shortcut keys 0 through 9. In the health check menu, you can get a quick overview of the general health of your network. Araneo will constantly check some important parameters and settings of your network and warn you if something is wrong or might cause a problem in the future. In the log menu, we will see all the info, warning and error messages logged by Araneo. You can also save the log and apply a blacklist in case we don't want certain events to be logged. On the top of our Araneo window, we can choose between online mode and project mode. Project mode can be used to prepare network setups offline, and will be discussed in a separate video. The show icon allows us to switch between a live edit mode and a show mode. In the show mode, the icon will show a red on air icon and it's no longer possible to change any settings. With the file menu, we can save our current setup as a project, also load a layout from a project. With add, we can add zones to group devices together and organize our layout. Add images and add text to our layout.
With Remove, you can remove these items from the layout. The Configure icon, indicated by the cogwheel, is our most important menu. Here we can edit and assign groups to our ports, set global device settings, Set individual port settings. And change your AVB clock settings. The Auto Layout button will automatically try to spread out the devices in your layout to have a better overview. You can of course also arrange the devices in your layout manually. Sticking them to a fixed position can be done with the pin icon next to each device. Via the Clean Graph menu, you can clean up down devices and connections, or clean undiscovered devices and connections. Via the Change Password menu, you can set or change the password on one or more switches. When GigaCore switches have a password set, they can be unlocked via the Unlock menu. In the MANET Network menu, you will get a list of MANET 3 devices and sessions. Without an MANET 3 license, you will only see one console, one node, one processing unit and one on PC device. In the AVB network menu, you will get an overview of the AVB streams on your network. Via the toolbox menu, you can download firmware releases for both GigaCores and Luminodes, and also update all the devices at once. On the left, we have a range of buttons that allow us to show or hide info on our layout depending on whether it's useful in our specific setup or not. The Groups button will hide all the group colors on the ports. If you ever run into a situation where you don't seem to be able to assign groups, make sure that this button is not accidentally turned off, all the ports will just be shown in blue. The Links button will show or hide all the links between the devices. Rlink X will show or hide the Rlink X status on all the ports, indicated by a cyan border around the network ports. Multilinks will show ports on which Multilinks is active, indicated by a colored line above or below the port. PoE shows which ports are capable of supplying power over Ethernet, indicated by a yellow tab on the Ethercon and the yellow notch in the network port. These indicators will turn orange if a port is actually sourcing PoE to a device. Traffic shows the outgoing traffic on all ports. AVB will show whether a port has AVB enabled, indicated by an AVB icon. CPU load shows the average CPU load of the switches over a period of 1 second and 10 seconds. Core stats will show you the case and CPU temperature and the fan speeds next to the switches. GPTP will show the AVB clock priorities of the switches and whether GPTP is active on the ports. PTP V2 will show the PTP V2 data on the ports of the GigaCores. RSTP, or Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, will show you the bridge priority of each switch, and also which switch or switches are the root bridge. Changing the bridge priority can be done by clicking the cogwheel next to the bridge priority.
IGMP will show you which switches are selected as querier for which group. With the group filter, you can hide edge devices connected to certain groups to declutter your layout. This is also the first place to look when you are missing devices, as you might have applied a group filter. And finally, we can also switch between a light mode and a dark mode. Right clicking on a port gives you general information about this port, like the name, group, PoE info, and speed info. And in the case of fiber ports, also the SFP info, like the vendor name, temperature, and TX and RX power. The locate function can be used to quickly find devices in your layout by searching for its name, IP address, or any free text. In our additional settings menu at the top right, you can change some preferences for Araneo, like the language, mouse behavior, and settings for the grid. Also, the values that will be used for the bridge priorities and AVB clockmaster priorities can be set here. Note that these values should normally only be changed for very specific applications or when instructed to do so by the Luminix support team. You can also adjust the Araneo startup options here and whether or not you want fiber loss warnings to be shown in the health check. And you can also reset Araneo back to its default settings. Via the licenses menu, you can activate additional licenses like the Amena 3 license. You can also let Araneo check if a newer version of the program is available. Another important feature of Araneo is the built-in support function. This allows you to generate a support package, which contains your network layout and log files, that can be used by our support team to help you troubleshoot a problem. When using this function, make sure to fill in all the details and enter a meaningful description of the issue. In the About Araneo menu, we can see which version of Araneo we are running at the moment. In our layout, we can give names and colors to our zones where we grouped devices together. We can label ports and edge devices. And we can even enter links to devices that can be configured via a web interface. Thanks for watching and keep an eye on our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you.